A system of linear equations in two variables x and y can be written in this form here, where you've got some number times x plus some number times y equals some number, and you can have multiple, uh, you have two equations of that form. So this here is the, the system of equations. And when we talk about solving a system of equations, we talk about just, we just mean find an x and a y value that work in both equations at the same time, okay? To do this, um, there's a lot of different methods, but one method is to use matrices. And we use what's called an augmented matrix. And an augmented matrix is just a matrix that lists the coefficients of the, uh, these equations, okay? And then what they're equal to, what these, uh, those expressions are equal to on the right. So the A, B, and C in the first row, so the, that first row represents the first equation, and the D, E, F uh, is the second row, represents the second equation. This is what's called the augmented matrix. And um, we can do things with this matrix. The thing that we're gonna care about when getting the solution of the system is putting it in reduced form. And the form is actually called reduced row echelon form. Um, and I'm gonna write that here just, just so that we're comfortable with uh, the next thing that we see. Uh, reduced row echelon form. Now this, this phrase is not super important. What is important is to know that this is often uh, abbreviated as R-R-E-F, okay? And we reduce it and it ends up looking something like this. We've got a one, zero, and then a number here, and then a zero, one, and a number here. And what this tells us is this last column is the solution for X and Y. Whatever numbers are, end up there are the X and Y values uh, for our solution. So let's just do a quick example here. Um, first, write the augmented matrix for this system of equations. So uh, in our matrix, we get a row for each equation, and we just list the coefficients. Okay, you drop the variables, so drop the x and the y, we get 2, negative 3, and 3. And then our second equation will be our second row, negative 2, 5, and negative 1. So this here is the augmented matrix. Okay. Now we want to solve the system by reducing this augmented matrix. Now there are ways to do this by hand, but we're not going to worry about that uh, for now. Right now we're going to use um, a calculator to do this. And I'm going to use the Desmos matrix calculator. So if you go to desmos.com slash matrix, then you get the, uh, the matrix calculator. So we're going to create this matrix here, and I'm just going to, I'm just going to say uh, new matrix. And then we just need to uh, tell the dimension. So this is a two by three matrix, so two rows and three columns. And then we can go through and, uh, and enter each of these, uh, these entries. So two, negative three, three, negative two, five, and negative one. Okay, and just hit enter, and that's, that's our matrix. And then to reduce it, you can see down here, there's this button, R-R-E-F. Okay, that's the, that's the button that's gonna reduce it for us. So we click that, and then you see in parentheses, it asks for the matrix. And I'm gonna go, this is matrix A that I just typed in. So I just type in A, and that gives me my R-R-E-F. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and write that out. So we've got our 103 and 011. 103 and 011. Okay. And when you've got it in this form, um, what this is telling us, notice that if we kind of go backwards from this uh, matrix to this form, you'd end up with a 1x plus 0y equals 3 and 0x plus 1y equals 1. And of course, 0y is just 0. <laughs> so this is, first one is just x equals 3. And the second one, 0x is 0, and 1y is y, so y equals 1. So that's the solution to this system of equations using, uh, using that augmented matrix. You can check your answer by just plugging these in and making sure that it actually works. I'm not going to go through and do that, but if you plug 3 in for x and 1 in for y, both of these equations uh, are true and are satisfied.